Uh, today we are solving uh, one of the programming challenges in the book uh, starting out with Java. We are in chapter 6 and the problem we are today solving is called uh, Car Instrument Simulator and it is uh, problem 12 in chapter 6. So um, in the instruction they said we have to create three classes. The first class is uh, fuel gauge. The second class is is odometer, and the last uh, class is uh, main class to test uh, the program. So in this uh, in this section, we will create um, a class called uh, fuel gauge, and it will have these fields. And um, uh, first the first thing uh, you should do is to create a class called uh, fuel gauge. After that. Uh, we will start um, writing the class. We'll say final int uh, max uh, gallons is uh, 15. The car only uh, takes uh, uh, 15 gallons as a limit. Uh, also, we want to create a private a private int that will uh, keep track of the gallons. Then we create a fuel gauge, an empty constructor. Then we create um, a constructor with with arguments. You say gallons. Then you will say if gallons is less than or equal to to the maximum gallons that the car can can take then we we would set the gallons to the argument that the user passes but if the user enters anything that is greater than 15 we want to set uh, gallons to whatever the max gallons is which is 15 then we have to create a method to get uh, the gallons. Then we have to create two uh, methods. The first one is to uh, add gallons to the car and the other is to burn uh, gas. So we'll say public uh, void add uh, gallons. And uh, first we have to check if we exceed the limit, say gallons is less than uh, the max gallons. If this condition comes out true, then we add uh, one gallon to the car. But if the car is full, then we will say the tank is full. Uh, so we have to create the opposite of this method, which is burn. A fuel, you say uh, burn uh, fuel. Say if we have to check also if gallons is greater than zero, and then we we subtract one gallon uh, from the tank. Otherwise, we just say the tank is empty because if the if the gallons are zero then there is nothing to subtract from um, so that uh, this is complete this class is complete we created all the methods and filled this that is necessary for this class to work so next class would be to create the odometer class create is uh, odometer and this class's job is to get the mileage and we have to add mileage uh, to the car to the odometer and um, we have to also check if the if the uh, car odometer uh, reaches the limit so the first thing would be to create uh, this class odometer then we say final int max uh, mileage 
which is in the book they said it is 999,999 and then we create uh, MBG miles per gallon which is 24 um, for every 24 miles uh, the car uses uh, a gallon of, of gas then they said we have to create uh, a private member which is mileage then uh, also we have to create a starting starting mileage then you have to create a fuel gauge object here then create um, a constructor for this class the constructor takes is uh, mileage and um, it also takes a fuel gauge object and we say this starting mileage equal mileage this um, mileage equal mileage this uh, fuel gauge equal fuel gauge then we have to get um, you have to say we have to get uh, the mileage so we say get the mileage public int get mileage it will get us the mileage then we have to add mileage to the odometer say public void add my mileage uh, first we have to make sure we are not going over the limit so we say mileage is less than the max allowed the max mileage if this condition checks out we will do we would add one one mile else they said we have to set the mileage to zero then uh, we have to calculate how much uh, how much is uh, is used how many miles uh, my mileage uh, the car uh, ran we say mileage starting mileage minus mileage then for every 24 hour uh, 24 miles um, there is uh, uh, there is one guy gallon of, of gas is that's been used so to figure out we say used mileage much less mbg is equal zero for every 24 um, miles we have to burn uh, we have to burn some uh, some gas so that would be that would be it for this class uh, we created all the methods that is necessary and uh, the next day, the next day class would be a main class to test uh, the whole program we create a main class to test our program uh, our uh, two other uh, classes so I create the uh, main class and I created main method so first thing that you have to do is to create a fuel gauge object then you have to create odometer instance as well this take is two argument the first is the mileage and the second is the fuel gauge object then we have to add gas to the uh, to the car we'll say for int i zero i is less than the ma the maximum gallons allowed i is incremented by one each time and then you say fuel gauge add gallons of gas then we have to use uh, uh, some mileage say while fuel gauge get gallons is greater than zero and you say diameter add mileage 
then we have to uh, print mileage odometer get mileage and um, we say fuel level then we say fuel gauge get gallons so let's let, let's run let's run the program now as you can see here it starts with uh, first thing would be the first mile the fuel level is 15 because 15 is the limit that uh, that the car can hold it it goes uh, it it remains 15 gallons of gas until until we reach uh, the 24th uh, mile Mm, nothing did I made a mistake okay this is the fuel level and this is the mileage so the mileage does not change until the 24th yeah i didn't make a mistake 24th uh, for every 24 mi miles uh, there is one gallon of gas uh, that is exhausted so here it was 15 and now it's 14 and it will this 14 gallons will not change until we reach uh, the 48 uh, mile then you can as you can see here is like uh, 13 and uh, it goes um, until the next 24 miles so we, we completed uh, the task we created a car instrument simulator and uh, we created three classes the fuel gauge the odometer and this class the main class to test our program so I hope uh, I hope this is helpful for you guys and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. I'll see you next time.